Welcome to Learning at Your Pace. We will be learning about air. Air is a necessary element of life. Air is needed for breathing. All living things like plants, animals and human beings require air for breathing. Air is all around us and we can feel but cannot see air. So what does this air exactly mean? It is a mixture of different types of gases. What are the gases present in the air? 78% of nitrogen, oxygen 21%, carbon dioxide 1%. Plants use carbon dioxide to prepare food. There are many other gases present in air in small amount and small particles like dust, water vapor, etc. float in the atmosphere. Now let's look into the properties of air. The first one is air has weight. Take a hanger and two inflated balloons and a thread to balance the balloons. Now tie the inflated balloons on each end of the hanger. Now hold the hanger straight. We observe that both the balloons are balanced. When I poke one of the balloon with a needle, it becomes deflated. Now the inflated balloon and the hanger goes down to one side. Why? Because air has weight. The second one is air exerts pressure. Fill up the glass with water up to the brim and cover it with a cardboard piece. And now turn the glass upside down. Slowly remove your hand. When you observe the cardboard does not fall and the water stays in the glass. So you find that the air pushes the cardboard up and prevents it from falling. The third one is air occupies space. Take a glass. Press the glass gradually in the water. Observe what happens. The water does not enter the bottle even on pressing. This happens because the glass is not empty. Because air is present inside the glass. Now, when I tilt the glass, the air goes out and the bubbles are formed and now the water goes in. The fourth one is air doesn't have definite When we fill in air inside the balloons, the air takes the shape of the balloon. Even when we fill air in the mattress swimming tube, the air takes its shape. The fifth one is air expands on heating and contracts on cooling. Now look at this experiment. Here a deflated balloon is being tied over the neck of the boiling tube. Now. When the boiling tube is being immersed in the hot water, the balloon becomes inflated. This happens because the hot water inflated the air present in the tube and air got expanded and rises up in the tube and thus inflates the balloon. Now when you immerse the boiling tube into the ice cold water, 
the balloon is deflated because cold water cools the air inside the tube. Thank you.